Hi, this is Josh here at TechSpec, and today in the screencast, we're going to be looking at views and view options in the new Google Calendar. So let's jump over to my Google Calendar. You see here, I know I'm in my domain because I have the LSL logo here. I am currently in the week view. We can see um, the, whoops, uh, the Sunday to Saturday view. In the upper left, we have the, the month at a glance, and today's date is highlighted. Then down the left, we have all of the different calendars that I can see or edit. Um, the permissions vary. Now, you'll see some of these have checks and some of these do not. The ones that have checks are the ones I'm currently viewing. Now, the reason I have so many calendars is because I am either the teacher or a student in a lot of different Google Classrooms. And whenever a Google Classroom is created and you're the teacher or when you're enrolled, it creates a companion Google Calendar. Now, these can all be hidden from view, but for right now, I'm just not showing them. So let's see what happens when we click the check marks. So you see all of my events have gone away. Now, I haven't lost the calendar. They're just no longer displaying. If you have a lot of events on a lot of different calendars, this can be really handy to turn things on and off so you don't have to see look at everything all at the same time. So these are my reminders. You see the reminders, they have a little finger with a string tied around on them. And if I uncheck that, they go away. Now I haven't lost my reminders, they're just not displaying. So, but looking at this in week view is not always gonna be the most useful to us. So we're gonna be looking up here in the upper right and we have several things. And you'll notice in Google, if you just hover your cursor over things, that it'll usually tell you what they are. So here we have search, where we can search through and look for events in our calendar. This gear is our settings menu, and we'll be looking at that in a second. But then we have this dropdown. And this dropdown shows several things. Here are all my different views. I have day, week, month, year, schedule, and two weeks, which is actually a custom view. Your calendar probably says four days here. Um, Mine says two weeks because I've set it as custom and I'll show you how to do that. We can show the weekends and show declined events. These checks means these are turned off. So let's turn off the weekends and see what we get. Well, now our week goes Monday through Friday and each day is a little bit wider. So we have more room on the screen to see the events on that day. If we go into month view, it's pretty much as we expect. Now you'll notice some of these are dots with times that start in front of them. Some of these are reminders with the little finger uh, bow reminder, and some of these are just big solid colors. So what the solid colors mean is this is an all day event. It doesn't necessarily have a start or a stop time. I've just put it in the calendar as all days. So you see up here where these say assignment, those are related to a Google Classroom. They weren't given a specific due date and time. They were just given the date. So these are all day events. This is a multi-day event. That's why this color block for Q National um, goes over the space of several day. And you see on the Ed Services calendar, spring break school is closed. Now it's in gray, but I see that little yellow. And I see over here that Ed Services is yellow and that's how I color match. So anything in green is on Josh Harris. Anything in the orange is this demonstration calendar. And with the little yellow mark, that's over here in Ed Services. So let's go back to the week view. There's also something interesting in day view where I can see side by side the calendars of other people who I can edit their calendar. Um, in year, you don't see any events, but you do see the year at a glance if you need to look forward at certain things. Um, schedule view is really unique and it looks more like an agenda. I really like schedule view because it lets me look at things as sort of a list of events I have to go to instead of spaced over several days. Um, and we can scroll through um, over the course of a few weeks. You see, I'm already here into April. Um, and then I have this two week view. Well, like I said, that's custom. So how did I customize that? Well, I went here to my gear into the settings menu, and then I went into settings. Now over here in the upper left, this is like a table of contents of all the different categories of settings. I could scroll down and try to find things, or I could just come here and go to view options. Now you notice show weekends is now turned off because I turned it off just a minute ago. But if I turn it back on, it will be there. So uh, it's by default, it shows declined events. The week numbers are turned on. Reduce the brightness of past events is to show us when we're past something in a day or past something in a month. Um, side by side day view calendars. You can change what day of the week your calendar starts on. If you're not showing weekends, this isn't really much of a difference for you. 
but custom view, this is what, by default, yours is probably four days. Um, and let's take a look at what four days looks like. So if we, this is what four days, and we looked at five, and we're now no longer showing weekends. So I turned, or we are showing weekends. Before when we looked at a week, we had turned it off. So a week is seven days, and you'll notice each day gets kind of narrow. If you want to leave your custom to four, each day is kind of wide, and there's lots of things to look at it. Um, we're going to go back into settings by clicking the gear, hitting settings. We're going to come over here to view options. Now, here are all the different ways you can look at um, your custom view. I find two weeks really useful because, and let's, because it allows me to look farther ahead than just this week, but not so much that a month shows me at a time. So here's what two weeks looks like. We can see there's plenty of things. I have plenty of room to view events. It doesn't look too crowded, but that's just my personal preference. You can make it um, whatever you like. So hopefully that shows you how to get into all the different views that are possible using this menu and how to set your options using the gears menu in Google Calendar. Um, if you have any other questions, please feel free to contact anyone in the LSL EdTech department. Thank you and happy Googling.